Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories, let's start with the story. AITA for faking my firing to teach rude customers a lesson? I'm a high schooler, just trying to get by with a weekend job at this little coffee shop in town. It's nothing fancy, just your typical spot with a few tables, a counter, and a menu that hasn't changed since forever. But it's a job, and it pays enough to help out with stuff at home. I've got this routine down, you know? School during the week, then work on the weekends. It's like clockwork, but in the quiet moments, there's this heaviness, this feeling like I'm just stuck. My coworkers? They're all right. James, the owner's son, is there most weekends. He's this easygoing guy, the type everyone likes. I guess technically he's the shift manager, but it's not like he throws that title around. We go to the same school, so it's cool having someone my age there, even if he's the boss's kid. He doesn't act all superior, or anything. Then, there's Danielle. She's in college and she works some weekends too. We don't see her as much but she's nice. It's just the three of us on those Saturdays and Sundays, trying to make it through without losing our minds. And man, some people are just the worst. Like, they come in and they're already pissed off, looking for something, anything, to yell about. It's like they're walking around with all this anger, just waiting to dump it on someone who can't fight back. And guess who that usually is? Yep, us. High school and college kids just trying to make some money. One Saturday it was one of those days. The kind where you can feel the tension as soon as you walk through the door. This guy comes in, and I could tell right away that he was one of those customers. He orders a coffee, and I make it just like always. But when I hand it to him, he flips out. Says it's not hot enough, like I have some magical power over the temperature of the machine. I mean come on, I just gave it to him straight from the brewer. What am I supposed to do, stick it in the microwave? James was in the back, and he must have heard the guy, because he comes out and puts on his manager face, he's all like, sir, is there a problem here? And of course that just gives the guy more of an audience, so he starts going off about how terrible our service is, how we're all incompetent and blah blah blah. And then James, he gives me this look. I know what's coming, but it still hits me in the gut. He's like, op, this is unacceptable, you're fired. My heart sinks. Even though I know it's just a joke, just a way to mess with this guy, it still feels real. I mean, I can't lose this job. My family's barely scraping by as it is. So I play along, my voice trembling as I beg him not to fire me. Please James don't do this, I need this job, my family needs the money please. I could see the shift in the guy's face, like he suddenly realized he might have gone too far. He starts stammering, trying to take it back. It's not that serious, really, you don't have to fire her over this, I didn't mean it. But James, he doesn't back down. He's all business, telling me to take off my apron and leave. And I'm just standing there, my heart pounding, pretending this is the end of the world. Because in some ways it kind of feels like it. Even though I know it's just a game, there's this weight to it. Like, what if one day it isn't a joke? What if I really do lose this job and everything falls apart? Eventually, the guy leaves, probably feeling like the biggest jerk on the planet. After he's gone, James and I just look at each other and laugh. But it's a hollow kind of laugh, you know? Because yeah, we got one over on him, but what does it really matter? I still have to come back tomorrow, and the day after that, dealing with more people just like him. We pulled that stunt a few more times after that. Whenever someone started yelling at Danielle or me, James would come in, all serious, and fire us. And almost every time, the person would backtrack apologizing and saying they didn't mean it. It was like this weird power we had, making people realize that their actions could have real consequences. But it also felt kind of messed up, letting them think they'd gotten someone fired, even if it was just for a few minutes. AITA for refusing to let my infertile sister adopt my baby. I'm 17 and 21 weeks pregnant. This whole situation was an accident with my ex-boyfriend. We were using condoms, but clearly, they didn't do their job. As soon as he found out I was pregnant, he bailed on me. I decided the best thing to do was to put my baby up for adoption. Here's where things get complicated. My sister, who's 24, has been struggling with infertility for years. She and her husband have tried everything. Two years of trying naturally, multiple miscarriages and even in vitro, but nothing worked. She's always been fixated on having a child that's biologically hers because she believes it's a different kind of bond than with an adopted child. So yesterday, I had a pregnancy appointment. My sister and her husband asked if they could come with me. I thought it was weird, so I said no. They kept pushing, 
saying they just wanted to see if the baby was healthy and hear the heartbeat. I asked them why they cared so much, given how hard their miscarriages hit them, it didn't make sense. That's when they dropped the bomb, they assumed I was going to give my baby to them, since I'm putting it up for adoption. They never even brought it up before. I was shocked and asked what the hell they were talking about. They said they thought it was a given that I'd let them adopt the baby since it's biologically connected to my sister. I told them flat out that wasn't happening. My sister got really mad and asked why. I tried to keep calm and explain that I couldn't handle seeing the child I was giving up for adoption around all the time. It would make things too complicated for everyone. That's when my sister lost it. She started crying hysterically, and my brother-in-law started screaming at me, calling me a selfish bitch who didn't care about my sister's feelings. My sister said I'm a terrible sister, and an even worse mother for wanting to give my baby to strangers instead of family. I couldn't take it anymore and snapped. I told her that if she wasn't so hung up on the biological connection, she could have adopted a child already. Then I told them both to fuck off and walked out. Later, my mom told me I was being selfish and cruel to my sister, and that I needed to stop thinking only about myself. Now, I'm just wondering if I'm the asshole here. I don't hate my sister. I love her, but I think that if I would give her a child it will really complicate family dynamics. Plus it could be hard on me and the child, if they would find out how would they feel about that. Seeing me having kids I want and raising them, in the same time, knowing I gave them away. What if the kid would want to have parental bond I don't want? The other reason I don't know if I should give baby to my sister, is that she is still grieving her miscarriages and it could affect the child too. I don't want to keep this child cause I know I won't make a good mother plus I'm way too young for kids. I want to study and with the kid it would be really hard, especially because me and my mom don't have good financial situation. In my country is many people waiting for newborns so the baby won't be in system for long. I'm from Poland actually. And we have something called Okno Zysia, I don't know how to say it in English, but you can place the child here and it will go to adoption or you can give up your rights after birth. I gave birth to a little girl two days ago. I decided not to give my sister baby and go through with closed adoption. I get to meet adoptive parents few times and they are really good people. After everything what happened, my sister and her husband tried to persuade me to give them my baby, even after I tried to explain why I don't want that they didn't listen. We had many flights about it and part of my family don't talk to me now because baby should stay in family. I have actually zero contact with my sister and I don't think it will change in close future, my mom wasn't really right with my choice, and was mad at me but I can say she tries to understand me and is there for me right now. Thank you for listening to the whole story. Wishing you a wonderful day.